Hey guys and welcome back to Alien Isolation Svenstapool Station. My name is Amanda Ripley, yes, listen to those dulcet female tones. And I am hiding from the actual xenomorph. My god, that that thing, it sprung on me out of nowhere. There was a, a security alarm going off and I was trying to find the way of turning the security alarm off. And I went out and I did find a way to turn said security alarm off. Unfortunately, at that point, I can hear it. Can you hear it? Is that it? Unfortunately, at that point, the alien, our uh, classic xenomorph type creature, decided to show up and um, ruin my day, actually. Uh, it's a good job that I haven't actually eaten any breakfast, else I would have lost most of it. What is all that noising? I don't like this noising. You hear that? I hear that. I can't... I can't see anything though. This is the problem, right? So because uh, we went and fixed our what's it called the elevator hack tool. Because we went and fixed that, we should probably be on our way back up towards the elevator where we found it. Now that's going to take some time to get up there, and I am scared. So very, very scared. All right, let's move on. Ooh. Like, I have no idea what's... Oh, jeez, these moving moving shadows and stuff. I have no idea what's downstairs. Should we go and have a look what's downstairs? Because maybe we've missed something very, very important down here. I don't, I don't know if we have. I don't think we have. I don't think there's going to be anything down here uh, other than death. Uh, there seems to be a lot of death in this station. What are these? Are these cigarettes? There's boxes and boxes of cigarettes. It looks like it. Oh, we should, we should steal some of those and use them to barter with with the people that are still left in the station. Okay, so this is obviously some sort of elevator. Can we hack this one? No, no, we cannot. Okay, so with the strings as an accompaniment, we're going to make our way back up and hopefully not run into anyone. Now, when we left this place up top, there was a bunch of marshals up there. And, like, they were horrible. They shot at me and all sorts. It, like, we spent an entire episode trying to get around them, and I really hope that we're not going to do that again. I like that massive light out there. That's that's amazing. Uh, hopefully, we should be able to just like breeze on past them this time. Oh look, there was a map thing there that I just completely didn't get last time. Let's let's update my map, shall we? Let's see, let's see what's changed. I'm gonna go hide behind here because this is the best place to hide, right? Uh, has anything changed? No, nothing has changed. What level are we on here, actually? I don't know. I feel like we've been here before. Oh, this is the tech workshop. So ah. So that door over there is one that I was having incredible, or this door here, was one that I was having incredible difficulty getting past. Is it this door here? I'm just going to check my map again, just to make sure. No, this is a dead end. <laughs> it was this door here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, should we just carry on making our way up? Trying to, yeah, get our way back up to the elevator, of course. I mean, why wouldn't that be where we're going? been keeping an eye out on all these uh, cameras that are around here. I do wonder if anybody actually has access to them still, because there's still, there's a lot. All right, we've heard a lot about this Apollo mainframe and how it like slightly went a little bit screwy and did, is that, is that actually following me now? I think it might actually be following me, yeah. Yeah, but how the AI mainframe went a little bit screwy. We got, we got to access tune it again. All right, well, let's do that. We, we get good at this. The last episode was all about learning how to do this, or rather, at least to begin with, showing you how much I didn't understand what this is about. Like right now, we've got that one, uh, that one, and that one. <clears throat> so what we're trying to do is, the top picture is actually three different pictures. And you've got to match them up from left to right, which one's which. Now, last time we were in here... Oh look, what's this? Not, not only is there sound like there's fun going on down there, there is a floating revolver. Can I take this floating revolver? I don't know, let's go see what the hell's going on over here. I, I, it sounded like a lot of death. And I, I don't really want to die. I really don't want to die. I'm going to come and look through here. What do we see? There's some bodies. Who are we going to hide from? Oh, oh, sh shoot. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? So we've got to be as quiet as possible. I literally have no idea how well we're going to do around this thing. Um, we've, we've never really had to worry about it before. This is definitely the point in the game where things are getting dodgy. Right, I um, like I found out... Oh, gee, can you hear that? I can hear, I can hear all sorts of horrible things. 
one thing I'm going to do is access this this wiring here because we know what this does, right? Yeah, don't don't tell me what it does again. Uh, what we want to do is turn this unstable system off, turn the air purification on. So now, hopefully, we are covered in smoke and stuff, and we, we haven't got to worry about the alien, right? We come down here, we just be like super sneaky. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is double check the bodies. Yeah, look. We can search the bodies, yeah. Damn straight, I'm going to take some of your revolver ammo. Though if you think I'm shooting that alien, you've got another thing coming. Right, I just want to make sure that I did, in fact, double check, uh, go past all this lot. Uh, the main reason being is that it took me four or five attempts to get through this room last time. So I just wanted to make sure that I had actually grabbed the things that I'd spotted. I am cacking it. I don't, I don't really want to try and make my way through here. Uh, was there anything else that we needed to do in this room? There's no locked doors here or anything like that. I believe there was something over this side that we could unlock with the security access tuner, but I'm just, I'm just gonna make my way in here. This is, this is where we're supposed to be going. The, this is supposed to be going. So we're gonna, do it. yeah. So, look at this. On the far right, on the far left, there you can see that this one matches up. Uh, then again, far left like that, and then this symbol to finish. Just, just to try and explain what it is I'm actually doing there, because I realised last time I just went, oh look, I figured it out, and didn't, didn't really explain what I was doing. Is this safe? Is it hidden? Is it secret? Can I take this torch? I just want to take that torch. I can't. Alright, let's get let's get going. Let's roll on to our new mission. Whatever whatever that new mission is. We're gonna to get to the comms. We're trying to contact the Terrens, right? That that's definitely our main main purpose in this station now. Especially now that we found the flight recorder and not found any uh, reference to my mum anywhere. Everything was corrupted or missing, which is terrible. Terrible, terrible. The other thing that's terrible is how hungry I am. My gosh. Breakfast. Last time we saw food was on the Lorenz. Terrible. <coughs> terrible. Oh, people running. Why am I not crouched? Let's crouch. So we're supposed to report to reception. That's what that guy just said. Yeah, there's like a real person there. Should we go report to reception? Let's go report to the reception. Hey, how's it going? Hello, my name's Ripley, Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Okay, Someone thank you. With you shortly. Oh, thank you very much. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. Oh, where'd he go? Ooh. <laughs> he looks all right. Is he going to kill me? He's a very poorly put together android, isn't he? Okay, so where are we going to go? Let's have a look at our map. I don't know. Oh, hey, the stuff over that way. Receptions that way. Make your way to comms control. That is our. That is our objective. That is what we're going to do. We seem relatively safe here. Relatively safe. I've not. Oh, the door's locked. That's terrible. We, we've not seen anything bad here yet. I don't. I don't think. Oh look, loads of stuff here. That's not a door. That's lockers and stuff. These are terrible walkways. Let's check this door first, though. Whilst we're here. Hey, we need to restore some power. I seem very tall here. Does anyone else think I'm, I'm feeling very tall here? Oh well, that, let's let's carry on round. Is he is he gonna have a, a whinge at us if we steal some stuff? For your comfort and reassurance, let's try. Oop. Nonsense. Who'd have thought humans are un un uncomfortable dealing with like human-like androids? Oh, look, everything's active. Though we could turn the door access on. Should we kill the camera feeds? Oh no, no, air purifier. Camera feeds. Let's turn the camera feeds on, right? Available power to ah. I pressed some dodgy buttons. I didn't mean to do that. I just clipped it with my finger. I am so sorry, guys. So sorry. All right, there we go. About available power three or four. Okay. So with that done, can we now go through? Uh, I always hate how long it takes to like give me access again. <laughs> Look at that air purification down there. Maybe we'll deal with that at some point. Maybe we'll deal with that. I'm hoping that the android won't come out and fix it. All right, the door is now open. Eek! It gads. It's scary. Is this a dead body here? Should we stand up? I can't. No, it doesn't look like a dead body. More importantly, this seems like something we can search. So let's go through this. What have we got? Bonding agent, injectors, and scrap. I'm still not sure what we're doing with the scrap. Like, I have picked up so much scrap. Should we have a look here while we're here? Uh, let's have a look. We got, we got a little bit of one of everything. Oh, look. I can put the revolver in my hand. Okay. This is typing up. 
counting up. I wonder what that means. All right, anyway, let's uh, check the smoke bomb. Mainly, I'm just looking to see if there is like a scrap bit. No, 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 no. Scrap, 65. What do we, what do we turn the scrap into? Scratching my head, because I don't know. Because I don't know. I don't know. All right, so smoke bomb would have been useful at some other point, wouldn't it? I mean, we've only literally just... Sure. We've only literally just got hold of the smoke bomb blueprint, so like at no point before now could we have actually used it. But you know, just need to deal with stuff. Just need to. Deal. Will you shut up, please? I'm trying to communicate to my friends that are listening to this. Sure. So key card required. We don't have any. What do we have a key card? No, we don't have a key card. Just just had to check. Now I know this needs a plasma torch or something to open an ion torch, of course. How could I forget? Like, you can't mix up those levels of technology, really, can you? Uh, down there... Oh, look, there's a person! Excuse me! No? Alright, you're off. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with you later. Uh, there's a locked door. That means an ion cannon. We're supposed to be getting to reception. Nice long corridor. Okay, let's, let's try and deal with stuff. Let's try and deal with stuff. Coolant maintenance. This doesn't really seem like where I'm going, but let, let's just have a look around. Let's just have a look round. This is another big room, isn't it? Wow. Um, now nah, I'm not. I don't know. Is coolant really the the area we're supposed to be? Like I, I have heard many tales of how these these horrible horrible beasts like to hang out in areas where like all the heat gets exchanged and stuff. Though this seems to be cold, which is not how coolant works. But all right, whatever. We'll we'll deal with that. Um, let's wander past ion torch. Great big closed room. Um, Alright, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk. I, I think we're safe. I mean, there was androids around. How could we not be safe? Andro androids mean safety, right? <laughs> okay, let's let's come back out here. There is a big open room in the middle. Let's see if we can... What's that? The relay facility. Well, that sounds like somewhere where we can go send a message from. A relay facility? Yeah. Or is this actually the, uh, the track teams? Jeez. Is this the track team's um, practice room? Another key card is required. Do you reckon we can take down? Do you reckon we can take down these androids? See if see if they do anything for us. Hey, um, you, you seem to be all right. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't really want to shoot you in the face yet. Idle synthetic storage. This sounds like the type of place we. Can I help you? Can I help you? It's urgent. That is a restricted area. Oh, it's okay. an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. Thank you. He looks like he's prepping for something. I advise it. Would you not? Why not? Uh, service exchange key card is required. Now, I don't know about you. He seemed relatively. Uh, trustworthy. I mean, he doesn't look like the type of person who would lie to me. He tells me that Apollo has it. Awesome. Can we speak to Apollo? That's what I'd like to do. I'd like to speak to Apollo. Service exchange. Door is locked. That's terrible. So we're just walking around in a great big circle. Nothing. Yeah, look, locked door, locked door, locked door, locked door. Ion torches. All right, well, we'll just deal with so lot more ion torches there. Does, does this now register? No, doesn't. Should we go... Um. We'll go look at it so that it registers on my map so that I know. Because uh, you may have noticed, I check my map relatively often. Yeah, now that we've seen it, it pops up on my screen. Brilliant. Yeah, because I check my map relatively often. It is the thing that I use to remind me what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't have the greatest memory. Like, just in normal day-to-day -day life, I don't have the greatest memory, let alone when I'm trying to do this. That looks like it'll be useful. Do you see that little lighty thing there? Let's just um, scope the room out. This is not reception, though. This is comms control access. Oh look, there, there's a, a thing. A motion tracker. Yes, Some please. Some kind of tracker. It's How do I modified. use it? <laughs> All right, that's cool. Use space to hold space to use your motion tracker. Where is it? Oh, hey. No, I'm just trying to no, figure out where you no are. Problem. We'll do the rewire at some point. Let's let's watch him leave on the motion tracker, just so we know how it works. I don't like the fact that that all goes blurry over there now. I put it down, sharp and focus. Pull it back up, all blurry. Now, I know that's supposed to be because I'm looking at the thing, but that's a little bit annoying. Collect scrap. I'll take the scrap. Still don't know what we're doing with the scrap. Maybe, maybe we'll figure it out. 
Hey, dude. So I'm guessing this guy means something, sort of game game design wise. It's like, yeah, this is this is one of the points where you have to do something. Who knows? Let's check the access terminal. See what it is as as to say. Now we're going to get on with some brilliant reading, as I always do. Hughes, I've put a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. Don't want any accidents until we figure out what's going on up here. Chief. Okay, that's cool. I can understand that, my friend. Uh, let's go into here. Error. Section corrupt. All right, fair enough. Our Manifesto. First published in the Ion Seekson, February 2115. Oh, look. We're like 100 years into the future. That's great. Uh, we, don't want you, we don't want to show you a new world. We want you to discover it. Uh, here at Season, every new technology, research, project, and discovery is driven to find real-world applications to help you, pointy finger. Uh, we hope you'll join us for the journey. I hope you'll join us for the journey as well. Uh, together, tomorrow, Seagan's journey into colonial space and official history by Sebastian Sieg. First printed in Ion Seagan. Our origins in space. Any big music. Bom, bom. <laughs> 2034 changed everything. The advent of fast and light travel put Seagan, uh, then known as Sieg and Son, on the path to success. The race into space began in earnest, and under the steady hand of our founder... Joshua Sieg, our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. I'm always so terrible with names. I'm sorry about this. I literally have to stop and, and go like, what? What does that say? Sieg and Son built the components and then enabled the ship to extend colonial space beyond the Sol system. As history relates, Wayland and Corp was reluctant to share its faster than light technologies with other corporations. Fortunately, Joshua Sieg was on hand to spe uh, speculate, innovate, and produce. Without Sieg and Son, the skies would have looked very different indeed. Yep, we wouldn't have been out. We wouldn't have been like death. There wouldn't have been death everywhere. Uh, audio. Let's play it. Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Seeks and Communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. Please understand, this is our best shot. This is the guy from the last place. We need to re communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. I'm not going to leave you in clear alone. What now? I'm just like totally involved in this guy's story. Him, him, Marie and Claire. Like, I, I hope we know more. I hope we know more. Oh, th yeah. Let's override the door mechanism. Oh, brilliant. Oh, sweet. Is this where everything now tries to kill me? I, look, look, there's food bar there. There's a food bar. Give, give it. I'm hungry. I want my breakfast. Ah! <laughs> Don't make me hangry. Hangry. You won't like me when I'm hangry. I'm very, I'm very angry. Hangry. <laughs> I'm hungry, damn it. <laughs> Give me my breakfast. I'll even take the synthetic goop they sell, serve on the uh, colonial ships. My god. My god. Uh, so there's a hiding spot here. I'm I'm crawling around a lot. Let's let's just walk. Let's just walk. There's no there's no need to crawl. Like there's um there's oh, oh, You see that little curved bit just on the inside of the pillar there? That, that looked like an alien head as I was walking around out the corner of my eye. I was like, no! <laughs> Not already, I've only just stood up. <laughs> okay, we have a save point. This seems like a good place to save. <laughs> this looks like a good place to save it. <laughs> Got a couple of minutes left on the episode. Let's see what's going on. Yes, I will re rewrite this. <laughs> My gosh, <laughs> I'm so jumpy. I think we're going to walk through this door here. Oh, what have we got? What are we doing? We are trying to get to make your way to comms control, which appears to be this way, so... I'm going to look this way, of course. Look, we got a maintenance jack to fuck up. we got a door to try and make past... I don't think we're going to make it past that door. Why is there a little stairway down here? What does this do? Hey. What's the point of this place? I don't know. Maybe it's a good hiding spot at some point. But right now it's not. All right, that's a bad door. Should we open this one? I, th I think we should. Is that a... Ah, oh, that's a, a hide jobby. That's all right. We can do that. Let's, let's smash this up. See what's behind the door. Hopefully not die. Who knows? I mean, like, there might just be screaming Whaley Banshee death on the other side of this door. Alright, could, like, to kill me. Where are we? What is this place? What goes on here? I'm going to take the scrap line. Is it a shower? Can I turn the water on? Sterilizer. You sterilize people here. Are we, in, are we into decontamination? Have we finally made it? Uh, we've been trying. We've been trying. Um, God, everything just looks so spooky. Let's check out the window. The marker on the edge of the motion scale points to my objective. 
what mark? Oh. Oh, hello. Well, what's my objective? This door? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, it, it even pathfinds for me. Well, that that's very nice. That is very nice. But I, I did kind of want to look down here. Like, does this just lead off into the distance? This is what we need to find. I'm going to start walking. I'm going to start walking. Uh, we've got some bonding agent. Radio that I don't think I'm going to use. Oh, but we will take the noisemaker. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I'm going to make a noisemaker. I don't know how I can effectively use a noisemaker. Wow, look at this place. Look at this place. What's this one, then? What have we got in here? This appears to be... Uh, I don't know. Some sort of lounge for chilling out. Can we hear anything if we stop? No. Can't hear anything if we stop. All right, let's just carry on walking down here, and we find nothing. Nothing at all. Well, let's use this lever. Uh, hold the right mouse button. Okay, press S. Wow, that's a lot of buttons just for opening a lever. Uh, and start crawling, of course. I mean, what, why would we not start crawling? Uh, a little bit... Um, I feel like we've left a lot of stuff behind. Uh, well, that's not searchable, so that's all right. That's the door we came in from. Okay, actually, I don't feel like we've left that much behind. Um, a quick, quick look around. Yeah, no, we we'll... Was that that door? Was that what that was? Let's let's check my motion scanner. Okay, I think we're all right. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Could be going a lot worse. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, anyone else a little bit scared here? I know I am. What? 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 Oh, is this because this is my objective? No, no. Look, you guys saw that beep, right? I know I saw that beep. Look at that, look. I'm... Ah... Oh. Ah, uh, I don't know. Is this where we're supposed to be going? Make your way to the control room. Let's try over this way. This is maintenance. Maintenance seems like a bit of a bit of a stretch, but we'll try it. Use the security access port. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Let's have a... Oh, jeez. Okay, there. Uh, wait. E. Okay. That one's good. That one's not. Okay, let's try this again. There. I should be able to do this. This is, this is like standard Final Fantasy limit break stuff, you know? There we go. Awesome. Access granted. Let's get let's get our way through this door. That was an interesting new way of hacking stuff. Uh, I quite liked it. I don't hear any save points anywhere, so that's a, a little bit nah. But we can deal with that. We can deal with that. We've got something to search here. We're going to take all of this stuff. Just everything. Everything. Oh, is this a blueprint? It looks like a blueprint. Stand up. Oh, it's a scrubbed out blueprint. Oh, it's a blueprint for a vessel. Okay. A oh, flashlight battery. Oh, I keep forgetting that I've got a flashlight. Okay, it's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very, very dusty in here. Don't, don't really like, oh, are you kidding me? Do we see anything, hear anything? No. Okay, so far so good. I'm not sure if this is the way I want to go. <coughs> it's going to be the way we're going, though. There doesn't appear to be much, oh. Let me pass. It's me, Hughes. Don't you recognize me? Listen to me. We've got to re-establish long-range communications. What is going on here? Get back! I'm warning you! Don't. Oh, what is going on here? Oh my... What? He shot him! And now... Huh? Oh. Oh, mate. You're going to kill him if you do that. He's not an android. You can't do that to people. They're, they're, they're too squishy. Ah, oh, look. You can't... Ah! Oh. did... No! People are sacred. We're an endangered species on this place. Don't do not do this to us. Well, there we go. What do you know? There's there's another race of killer beings loose on this vessel. We're not on a vessel, are we? We're on a station. Well, whatever. Like, that's a third group that we have to worry about. Androids, people, and the fucking Xenon. What the fuck is that thing? I'm going to go hide behind this this thing here. Gain access to the elevator and avoid detection. Okay, so if I hide here, what, like, what is that going to do? That does nothing. Which way is the elevator? Which way is the elevator? It's over that way. So I just came through all this. I think I'm going to go this way. I think I'm going to go this way. I've got to avoid detection, but I'm not sure. 
detection from what? Look, there's loads of stuff in there. Is that the way of the elevator? Is that the elevator? Let's, let's wander on up to this door. See if there's anything here we can deal with. Security surveillance. Just got to, just got to look out for signs and stuff. So that door's locked. Okay, this is definitely the way we had to come. I wish I'd used those little um, baggage uh, things back that way. You know, just outside the door, it said press E to use. I wish I'd used that. Okay, so far so good. I don't know if there's a, an elevator in here or what or things, but I think we are going to access this terminal and see what's going on here. Uh, your logged message. Fens uh, sensitive corporate corporate information has been automatically detected in a sensitive link message recently sent from this terminal. Uh, this event has been logged by Apollo on behalf of Seekson. If you have any further information, please request. Okay. Uh, oh, no. I, I, I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, look, there's a flare there. Let's grab that. Let's see if there is any more information on this thing. Uh, I'm not not really Apollo's eye. Uh, Riggs, are you still working on that down seeks and communication? Remember the, the trouble you got into last year, the trouble I helped you out of? Well, it's now time to repay the favour. One of my colleagues has been looking into some of the important documents and found a new problem. He's new, so he doesn't understand how we do things on Svensible, and he's threatened to go to what waits about it. This could hurt us all, so I need you to keep an eye on him. If anything interesting comes up, Apollo has cameras everywhere it just needs some someone to tell it what where to point his name is daniel uh Hellef. he lives in joshua six executive departments uh if this goes well i might have some more work for you we could clean up here wow okay corrupt any utility stuff no okay well people are bad this is what i keep getting about this place people are bad now i'm really worried that this isn't at all the direction i'm supposed to be going really Where's he going? So he's up there. Let's just quickly search this place. Take everything. I mean, there's, there's bound to be something somewhere that we've got to do. Oh, look, here's a camera feed. I don't know what this is gonna gonna do. Turn the security feed off. What is, what what does that cause? Anybody coming to look? No one appears to be coming to look. Is there anything up there? Do you reckon? I want I don't know, for avoiding detection, I seem rather close to people. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not sure where our way out is. Do you reckon I'm supposed to press something in here? I mean, this seems very close to being detected. Let's just check my map. Zoom in a bit. Oh, look, there's, look, there's a map thing that I completely missed out. And that's the way I'm supposed to go. All right, well, fine. But, you know, it's always nice to flesh out the local local scene, right? Yeah, maybe. Uh, the map is right in front of me somewhere. Oh, it's not a map. Look, it's a tag. Boom. Grab it. No, stand up and grab it. What is wrong with this girl? Why can't she do stuff? Okay. Oh, excuse me. Let's wander on forwards. Try and figure out how this grid thing out here works. Because that... Oh, mate, you're right. Is there anything we can do? Charge pack bonding ammo, revolver ammo. Uh, bonding agent, sorry, revolver ammo. Oh, we turned the cameras off. Ah, ah. See, I had to go that way. I knew this at all times. Don't, don't question me. Don't question me. All right, we are going to get our way into here. We're going to call the elevator, and then everything's going to come running at us because it makes a little ping pong noise or something like that. I don't know. I pressed the button. Come on. Yeah, come on. We've got to wait now. There's an alien right there. Well, it's, it might not be right there, but there's, uh... Where is it telling me I've got to go? Oh, it's telling me I've got to go right here. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Nothing much. Nothing much. Let's pro push this button and go for the comms unit. All right. Massive long wait in the elevator. I do love these lights that go down to tell you which way you go. I think it's one of the best things. Borrowed heavily from Star Trek, I'm sure. Uh, so let's wait and wait. Central Communications Hub seeks an employees only. Yeah, no, I'm an employee. Oh, look, the Torrens. We're, we're going to have to do that, but I will do that next time because I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time when we're going to go find out what the, this girl is going on about, about, you know, Svenstable Station and the Torrens and all that lot. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!